Hello YouTube. I'm going to show you how to get your Dropbox working on your XP machine just like it was before. As you know, Dropbox discontinued support for Windows XP, so now you can't even log on to your uh, Dropbox and access your files like you're used to. In order for this fix to work, you're going to need to have another computer that's running Windows 7 or higher networked to the computer to, that's running Windows XP that you want your Dropbox to work on. Okay, they have to be on the same network. And if you have that, then you can continue on and I'll show you how you can do that. Now let's get started to the point. You want to double click on the icon of the Dropbox that's on your uh, Windows 7 or higher PC. When the um, file opens, then you want to click on the label that's just before the Dropbox label. It's circled in red on my example. Then that'll bring you uh, up one level in the tree and then you see find the uh, Dropbox file, right click on it and select properties indicated by the red arrow in the example. Now on the properties dialog box you want to make note of the network path that this folder is on. You can see in the example the green arrow points to that path. You want to write it down, memorize it because you're going to need it later. Okay. After you write down that path, uh, click share. Then once the sharing dialog box clicks, um, once the sharing dialog box opens, you want to click add. And then from the uh, drop down arrow, you want to select everyone. After that, you want to click on the little arrow that's next to the uh, read and change it to read write on the uh, everyone label that you just selected. After that, you go to your uh, Windows XP machine and click start and go to my network places. Then, when that dialog box opens, you want to put the path that I told you to write down earlier in the address bar, click enter, and then that should bring you to where the Dropbox is, folder is located. And then you want to right click on that Dropbox folder, go down to send to desktop, create shortcut, click that. And what that'll do is place a shortcut to the Dropbox on your desktop. And then you can just click that, um, open that folder, and use your Dropbox as you always have. As long as the other computer is turned on and networked to this computer, the Dropbox will work as it always have. Copy folders, drag and drop, everything will be the same and you can use your Dropbox as you normally have. Now, that was the extent of the uh, tutorial, but uh, one thing that I did notice is that after I've set up the computer like that and I could use my Dropbox through this little folder icon, I try to log on to my original Dropbox that's on the XP machine so that I could print screen the error message saying that it's no longer supported but a funny thing happened it actually logged on so now I can use the original Dropbox just like they've never discontinued it so after you do this setup try and log on to your original Dropbox and see if it works for you the same way it does for me and if it doesn't you can always use that shortcut you just created okay thanks for watching